Now, as Sri Lanka emerges in the aftermath of a three-decade conflict, the Academy's efforts to contribute to the development agenda of the country have taken on a whole new dimension. Sri Lanka is awakening after a three-decade war. For people who lived in the war zone, peace is ushering in new hope and optimism. The Academy of Design is trying to share its knowledge and expertise with these communities in order to help them rebuild their lives. In this remote village far north of Sri Lanka, a team of designers from the academy are working with a local artisan community to look at ways to develop their craft-based products. By blending traditional skills with contemporary design knowledge, they hope to add more value to the artisan's work and help them find new market opportunities. They have the skills to create things that people want, but they simply don't have the knowledge and understanding of those people to n know what to, what to make for them. And that's sort of the, the role that design is playing in this. Based on contemporary trends, it's creating market-led market avenues in places that they've never tried to sell these things before. You can, you can, you can weave a stick. Right now we're working in five districts, Mena, uh, Mulatibu, uh, Jaffna, Ampara, and Batiklo district. We have chosen those because that required our immediate intervention. Plus, all these districts had something to offer before the conflict. Here in Mana, in the northwest of Sri Lanka, another community is developing crafts made from the Palmyra palm. Most artisans involved in the project were directly affected by the war. It destroyed their homes, disrupted their way of life, and took away their loved ones. Today they work in handicraft centers set up by the government to restore livelihoods and revive some of the traditional crafts that existed in the region. Designers involved in the project feel that the inherited artistic and cultural traditions of the artisans have the potential to make their products unique and authentic in the market. This is the country that can make the difference in many different things. You're coming out of a war, there's so many things that have happened. Time has stood still in this country and it's good in lots of ways because in other countries it ran away and many of the artisan skills have now become redundant or they've decided to use materials that make them just not very interesting to buy. As a school we have a huge base of students obviously. Students who are Tamil, Muslim, Sinhalese. So therefore AOD has an opportunity to engage many different people with the, with the communities out there. It's very, very important for our students to take part in anything to do with the heritage, cultural aspects of Sri Lanka and um, the sustainable elements that we can bring into design. We're an international school, but at the same time you want global students who are Sri Lankan. So working on creating a globalized contemporary style within a Sri Lankan context and building connections with real Sri Lankan artisans that our students can then get exposure to um, sort of is a best of both worlds kind of situation because they're taking the gifts their country have to offer design-wise and sort of reaching out into a broader world. Because she had some boxes and she cuts them and puts the bottom. It has been quite interesting because we have been experimenting with a lot of dyes and a lot of weaves and trying to make new techniques of weaves, you know, working together. So it's, it has been definitely hands-on experience. Like every day when we go back, we have dye all over our body, all on our clothes. So we don't get this sort of thing back home. It, it's been really good to get more closer to them and to get to know things they have gone through, uh, not emotionally, but also uh, to get to know their talent through all the problems and difficulties, uh, things they can do.
I am astonished about their enthusiasm and the, the will um, to take on these projects and how they've engaged with our students and our designers that have been working with them. They want to learn, they're hungry to learn, they, they're passionate actually about what they're doing. They've been making the same basket for so many years and all of a sudden somebody brings them something and it's not the same colour and it's not the same size and it's a challenge to start off with but then at the end of it they manage to do it and you see their faces and that excitement in their eyes and you feel, wow, we've done it. Besides building the capacity for doing new work by changing product, we've built the capacity for doing new work by changing people and making them more interested in working with outsiders and seeing that you know there's a lot to exchange with people that are from very different backgrounds and places than them and that working with those people maybe isn't as daunting as they once thought it was.